Hi, it's Darnell with Wave of Recipes, and today I'm going to be smoke grilling monkfish in the Ninja Woodfire Outdoor Grill, and so let's get cooking right now. So there are my monkfish fillets, two of them, about a pound and a half total wild caught. If you're not familiar with monkfish, it's kind of, I'd say the texture resembles lobster, is the best way to describe it, it resembles lobster. For, I guess, coating, I'm going to use some melted butter. I've got some an ounce of melted butter here, and I could just brush it on, but I'm just going to kind of pour it and kind of rub it in and kind of flip, the, flip these over and then rub it on the other side. And I'm going to, for some seasoning, use some Old Bay seasoning also. So, basically with butter and Old Bay, that'll be sufficient. But if you haven't had monkfish, and you don't mind the way a fish looks before it's cooked, then I definitely say try monkfish. As I said, it's like lobster, similar to it, so you probably want to eat it with some butter or something. If you want a milder uh, seasoning, you could use like maybe a lemon pepper or something. I'm just, uh, for you who know this channel and the hundreds of videos here on this channel, you know I'm all about the old bag. That's just my way of doing things. So, turn it over on the other side here and get this, get some old bay over on this side, like so. So, now we'll go ahead and put things on the grill. Alright, so here is the monkfish and the grill. I've got my eye grill too over there because I'm going to be measuring the meat temp of the larger of the two fillets. And the reason why I'm only going to measure the big one is because I'm only coming out to take them off and to flip them once. So basically what I'm going to do, I'm going to put them here on the grill then I'll tell you the technique that I'll be using to smoke these and grill these, smoke grill them. So these are like perfect size for this grill. So I'm going to close up. Basically what I'm going to do, going to switch things over to the smoker setting. So we're there on the smoker. And I'm going to up the temp to 350. So we'll get up to 350. All right, and for the cooking time, I'm going to take the cooking time down. This isn't going to take long at all. I mean, it might take 10 minutes after the preheat's done. But I'm going to set it for 20. And so I'll go ahead and hit start. It's basically going to start igniting. I've got the all-purpose blend pellets in. Those are the milder blend of pellets since this is seafood. And basically, going to let it go ahead and cook. Probably come out here after it's been cooking for maybe 5 to 10 minutes and flip things over. I need to turn my eye grill chew on though. To be sure that I'm measuring temp. So it's measuring the temp of the larger of the two fillets. So Lord willing, when I come out in five or ten minutes of cook time, it'll be you know somewhere over 100 degrees or near right at 100 degrees. Flip it over and let it finish cooking. So you're supposed to just you know let things go ahead and set in there while it starts up on this smoker setting. Now, if you haven't seen the original initial review review please be sure to see that that's where I show you all the functions I show you how to put it together I show you an initial cook I show you everything in that video there so if there's any questions you got see that video but I'll bring you back in a little bit we'll get things flipped over after it uh, fires up and I talk more about the whole process of the preheating and all that in that initial review Alright, so things have been going a little over 13 minutes and it just got over 100 degrees. So it took a bit longer than I thought to get up to like 100 or so, but now I think might be a good time to flip. We'll see if we got any mylar reaction on that bottom side. So, there we go. Things look pretty good so far. I'm going to go ahead and see if I can get this flipped over. Alright, no, no real uh, searing on that back side there, kind of leaving the, uh, I guess, meat probe a bit 
connected, well, touching the bottom plate, but we'll go with it. So, we're at about 104. Got some more time to go. I think it'll hit 145 before the time runs out. But uh, I guess I'd have to let it go a bit longer, maybe, if I wanted to see if I got any type of mylar on that bottom side. I'd have to let it cook until things got a bit hotter on the meat. But we'll just let it go, let it go ahead and go, and we'll see what we get. All right, it's smelling good. There's less than a minute left, and the meat temp is only up to 123. So just going to put it out to an even 10 more minutes and let it run down from there. And I know all about carryover for you who like it. And you can see in the hundreds of videos here on this channel, I know about carryover. I just don't use it. That's just my choice. So I'm going to let these go ahead and cook till they reach the 145. Lord willing, that'll happen within the next 10 minutes. I do believe it will. So, just going to let things continue to go. We got smoke usually with this cooker for 30 minutes on that one run of the pellets in the hopper, in a full hopper. So, probably got about 10 more minutes of smoke to keep it smoky. And so, I'll bring it back in a bit. Alright, took roughly 28 minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and open up and turn things off, but you can tell me how you think things look, and we'll get things on inside. Alright, so this is the finished fish. You just want to give it like five minutes to reabsorb juices, but there was no mylar on the bottom side. I guess maybe I'd have to use the grill function instead of the smoker function, or maybe a higher temp to get a little of that. But the smoke is what we really wanted to get going on this fish here, so I'm just going to cut this one down the middle just so you can see, and we see that it's juicy there, there's juice coming out as I press on it and coming off on my cutting board, so I see my cutting board getting even juicier. But just taking this piece here, just cutting it in half, and so just going to put that on the plate. And we'll go ahead and we'll do a taste test. So thank God for some smoked monkfish. Let's do a taste. I'll have more. Okay. Tastes very good. Definitely tastes the smoke. I can tell with Ninja's smoke pellets that they're using. They have some type of a coating in the pellet that, I guess, helps to adhere that smoke onto the meat. And so it's like, even though you're not smoking for a very long time and it's only got a small hopper with 30 minutes of smoke, it adheres to the meat, kind of like seals itself onto the meat so that you're sure to get some smoke flavor. With like large full up pellet smokers, you got to smoke the meat for a good long time, hours, to infuse smoke to get a real smoke flavor on the meat, but with the way these pellets are designed, and I think the, the secret for Ninja is really in the pellets, type of pellets that they're using, and what they have in that mix of the pellets um, to make it adhere like that. But you get your smoke flavor and it tastes pretty good. And so the monkfish turned out very well, very juicy, turned out great. So I'm very happy with it. And so now you know how to do monkfish, or if you want to do something else, you can. But nothing this video is sponsored, nothing given. And so in the video description, there are lots of ways to help the channel, such as cookbook, merch, membership, donations, link to the Amazon shop where you pay the same price, help the channel. And so with all of that said, also check out my blog, superwaveovenrecipes.com. That's superwaveovenrecipes.com. Was there even before YouTube, way before YouTube. So lots of more recipes there. But anyway, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Share the video with a friend, leave your comments. Subscribe, hit the notification icon, and good eating.